Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's Blake, and I'm joined by my friends, Ben. Hello. Shay. Hello, hello. And Covert Go Blue. Hello. It's me. I'm CGB. That's my thing. You're like, it's me, it's Blake. Mine's a thing because it rhymes. It's it's me. It's CGV. Does me and Blake not rhyme? Okay, that's my Okay. Thing. Like, uh, I don't know what you can do. Yo, what's up? Don't be fake. It's me and I'm Blake. <laughs> now there you go. You're welcome. What's up, guys? It's me. I'm not fake. My name's Blake. In any case, we wanted to thank CoolStuffing.com. They are our sponsors for this show. Please use the code WORST when you check out to show them that we sent you over there. It really helps out the show. We really appreciate that. Speaking of things that help out the show that we really appreciate, we actually have a Patreon. And one of the tiers allows Shay to shout people out with Shay's <laughs> salutations. Shay, take it away. Oh, you nailed it. All right, so we have a few patrons we're gonna shout out at the beginning of the show and then a few more later on. Um, so the first ones are Dylan Sloat, Jeffrey Pelkey, and Michael Polin. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate everyone. And so another thing that we like to do on the show is talk about who we're playing and the worst possible thing that our deck can do. So we're gonna go in a circle and we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna start, I'm playing Framicon. And this is actually requested by a patron. This is a requested by a very good friend of mine, James. James's birthday is the day we're recording. So happy birthday, James. Happy I love you, buddy. Oh, we all love you here at the show. Happy birthday. So I'm playing Pramicon. This is a Jeskai Commander. It's a 1-5 Flying Defender. As Pramicon Sky Rampart enters the battlefield, choose left or right. Each player may attack only the nearest opponent in the chosen direction, and Planeswalker is controlled by that opponent. I also have the opposite one that lets me choose the other direction so no one gets to attack. Yay. Another thing that uh, James requested I do is something I've been wanting to do on the show for a long time, and that's play Divine Intervention. This is six white-white, so eight mana for an enchantment, when it enters the battlefield with two intervention counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an intervention counter from Divine Intervention. If there are no intervention counters on it, the game is a draw! We're going for peace in our time, the peaciest peace we've ever pieced in our time. No one's gonna win. And that's great. So I got ways to turbo dot. I've got Academy Rector, which is a four mana one, two. When it is put in the graveyard from play, I may remove it from the game instead, which is like exiling. Uh, if you do, search your library for an enchantment card and put that card into play, then shuffle your library. So I will be turboing out a divine intervention so that we can have a peaceful game with my friends. Does ben! Your... Oh, yeah. <laughs> ben! <laughs> <laughs> Ben, what is the worst possible thing your deck can do? All right, so I'm also playing a patron deck. Or, yeah, person from Patreon. His patron, name, patron, patron is correct. Okay, yeah, okay. Patron, patron. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Keto requested it, and it is Joda the Unifier, the new Joda card from Dominaria United. Uh, he's a human wizard, he's a 5-5. Five, five. Legendary creatures you control get plus X, plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. Pretty sweet. Whenever you cast a legendary spell from your hand, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a legendary non-land card with lesser mana value, pretty much like Cascade. And you may cast that card without paying its mana cost, put the rest of the bottom of your library in a random order. So this is right up my alley. I really like it. And with my worst possible, I'm gonna have a few Praetors in the mix, like Urabras, uh, give all my creatures haste and all your creatures and in a battlefield tapped, guys. <laughs> then I love I love the Maelstrom Wanderer with this deck as well. Creatures also get haste again. Oh my gosh. And I cascade twice with this creature and then also w with a legendary cascade from Joda if he's on the battlefield. And I also have multiple combats as long as Aurelia attacks for the first time. In, Seems pretty good. In theory, we could all just die. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This could be this could be pretty gross. I look forward to gross. Yeah. In any case, Shay, what are you playing today? Yeah, so today I'm playing a Simic deck with Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief as my commander, also new from the Dominaria United set. So she's a fairy rogue with flying. Whenever a player casts a spell that targets only a single creature other than Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief, you may copy that spell. The copy targets Ivy. So I think for my worst possible, um, it's gonna be commander damage to you guys. 
And so let's say hypothetically I've got Ivy on the battlefield and I also have this Dreamtail Huron with a Gem Razor mutated on top of it. If I were to play Colossification, targeting Gem Razor, then that's gonna trigger Ivy's ability. So Colossification will also target Ivy. So now I've got two 2020s, well, actually a 2022, a 22-22 and a 24-24. Colossification does tap them, but with the Cerulean Whips, which says target creature becomes blue until end of turn, untap that creature, draw a card. Now I've got some beefy boys and um, that's gonna be a, a big swing, a big commander swing at someone's face. It also draws you a card, which is probably the most important part. <laughs> you, you, would, you would say that. Oh, so good. <laughs> well, that's terrifying, as per usual, Shay. CGB, what are you playing? I'm playing Urza, Lord oh. High Artificer. I, I oh. know, a new commander from Dominar United. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay, so I was going to play Shauna tonight and actually didn't open one. It's yeah. the first time I failed to open my commander after a release, built the deck and everything, but did not open the commander and couldn't find somebody who had one. So uh, pivot to the other deck I had built, which is a patron deck. So Craig, there is a Craig out there who signed up at the tier to ask me to play Urza, Lord High Artificer. Craig? Thanks, Craig. Thank you. Craig. You're kind of sick. Craig, Frank. I just want you to know that. I want you to know that. I appreciate you, I love you. You're probably one of the greatest people on the internet, but you're also a little sick. Because what, what Craig doesn't know, you would think I would love Urza, Lord High Artificer. Yeah, it sounds like you. It sounds like me. It's like one of the legitimate control commanders. It's mono blue, it's super powerful. What Craig doesn't know, and what nobody else knows is my first three games of EDH ever, I was told was a fun casual format and I just built my fun casual deck and I went to the game store and my first three games at that game store were all won by somebody playing Urza. And it was the longest, most obnoxious, <laughs> miserable experience. And there are people out there really enjoying this right now because they're like, ah, he needs blue mage, doesn't like blue mage. <laughs> Look, this card is messed up. It's not fine. It's true. It's, it, it really, if you have somebody who likes playing this too much in your group, they are sick and they need help. But I, there's an expectation. I've got to play Urza the way they expect Urza to be played. So here you go, guys. I've got a Winter Orb in ah, this deck. Craig! <laughs> Players cannot untap more than one land during their untap phase. However, I can tap Winter Orb, so I still get to untap my lands because Urza just has on it the ability to tap an untapped artifact for blue. Isn't that nice? Craig! Okay, if that's not nice enough, what if I had the combo of Dramatic Reversal Isochron Scepter, which would allow me to basically make infinite mana by imprinting the card and just untapping, tapping, untapping it over and over again. And with infinite mana, you can just keep using the bottom ability. Shuffle your library, exile the top card, play it without paying its mana cost. Oh, more infinite mana? Sure, I've got Rings <laughs> of Bright Hearth, I've got two monoliths in this deck. Urza, like, Urza and your toaster and your microwave oven at home go infinite at something. It just, <laughs> it, in, infinity is too easy with this stupid commander. And when I win, I'm just gonna play this card that's in Japanese, don't worry about it. It just says I win the game. It, it's Jace, <sighs> wielder of mysteries. mysteries. It just says I win the game if my deck is empty. And I'm just gonna exile and play my whole deck anyway. And I'm gonna do it all like really fast because this deck is stupid. And for those of you at home who say, well, why don't you just build a version of Urza that's nicer? Can't be done. Can't be done. Can't be done. Can't be done. It, it, it goes infinite with a toaster oven, I swear yeah, to God. It's true. So you know what? We're just gonna do it. We're gonna go full villain mode. You're gonna try to draw the game. They're gonna try to kill me. And thankfully they have some really powerful commanders true. to do it. And that's, what's, that's the way it's gonna be. So thanks, Craig. Thanks, Craig. Well, this is going to be a good game for sure. I'm very looking, very much so looking forward to it. All right, guys, we're going to shuffle up. We're going to roll the seagulls first. Let the nonsense begin. All right, everybody, we have shuffled, we have rolled, and Ben is going first. All right, 
I will draw. I will play this Sun Petal Grove, and I will. It will enter tapped. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and I'm going to Sick. Yeah. And then you're done? Yes, I'm done. Sorry. Draw for turn. Forest. Pass. Draw for turn. Mana Crypt Soul Ring. <laughs> Island. <laughs> Always a good start. After that, I have a jeweled amulet, which I can tap it to put a charge counter on it and pay one, and then I can remove a charge counter from mana, so it's like a mox you have to charge up. Then I'm also going to play a welding jar. I can sacrifice this to regenerate target <laughs> artifact, and then I'm done. I will draw. I will play a tapped glacial fortress for buddy land buddies, and then I will yeah. pass the turn. I'll untap, draw. I will play a forest for turn. I'll tap that forest and then sun petal grove to play a bloom tender. Mm -hmm. yes, and, then I'll, and then I'm done. Okay. Draw for turn. Flooded grove. Then I'm going to tap two for a spell skite. Ooh. Then I'll pass. I'm going to charge my jeweled amulet. All right. My turn. Untap. Draw. Uh, we'll play an island, and I will cast a Mind Stone, and I will tap the Mind Stone, I'll cast Sensei's Divining Top, and I'm done. No big deal. Oh my Six god. Six permanents to one. Draw. Sheevan Reef. A beautiful Arcane Siggy. Mm. Pass the turn to bed. Siggy. I'll untap. Draw. A dream root cascade untapped because I control two or more other lands. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, fa the fancy lands are the ones that enter untapped no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, this one did this game, so. Got him. <laughs> Tropical Island, get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna tap four. What am I using that other mana though? Whoa, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Captain Sisse. Ooh. Tap, search your library for a legendary card, reveal that card, and put it in my hand and shuffle. That's wow. like you were taking us on the journey of Bloom Tender actually <laughs> tapping for mana. Yeah, whoa. Look at I that. wasn't sure. <laughs> that is like your whole deck, that thing can tutor. Yeah, not okay. at once, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Beth. Awesome. Are you done? I had to clarify. <laughs> your turn said. Okay. Plaza of Heroes. Sweet new land. It is a sweet new land. Tap in three for a Skullwinder. One three death touch. When he enters the battlefield, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Womp womp, don't get to do that. The second half of that is then choose an opponent. That player returns a card from their graveyard to their hand. Okay, nobody's got graveyards. No. I guess he just really wanted the snake. Yeah, I have no one three death touch. Not, not bad, not bad. She must be mutating. Okay, then, okay. Then I'll pass. Untap, draw. All right, I will play an island, and it's time. We're going to attempt to cast Urza, Lord High Artificer, which then makes all my other artifacts tap for mana. What do you say, Blue Mage? Does that resolve? I'll allow it. Mm hmm. Let's make a construct token. For some reason, I like this one. Its power and toughness <laughs> are equal to the number of artifacts, so it's already a 5 5. And I can tap these for mana even when they enter the battlefield and even as creatures because it's an open-ended ability of Urza. It doesn't give it to the artifact creature. So like this can be tapped for mana right now, which is just stupid, I think, <laughs> personally. Like yeah, what? Why would they do that? So I'm going to attempt to play a copy artifact on your spell sky. <laughs> and it doesn't target. It just enters that way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resolves for me. Sweet. And since I'm not quite done yet, let's also cast a Grim Monolith. And uh, I, okay, I've got a lot of things on the board. This taps for three colorless, and for four you can untap it. But one of the uh, infinite combos is that you get a way to reduce that cost. Rings of Brighthurst, so this can just make infinite mana. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven artifacts. So that's a seven, seven construct token I made. And uh, yeah, I'm done. 
I, I feel good about this. I need new friends. I'm untapping. <laughs> Draw for turn. I'm going to play Storm Carved Coast. I'm going to spend one, two. Talisman of Curiosity. I'm going to pass the turn. All right. I'll untap. Draw for turn. Play a Swamp for turn. I'll tap three and four, five, creating white and green from that. To play Chulane, Teller of Tales. Ooh. Yes. That's a legend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. um. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! <Weird. clears throat> um, I will pass. Okay. We'll allow it. <laughs> City of Brass. My only win count in this deck is attacking with the Consecrated Sphinx. Or drawing the game. That's not a win. That's not a win con. That's a 4 6 blank with flying. Gotcha, good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Gatherer? Are you Scryfall? Okay, so I'm going to tap my Plaza of Heroes for a blue. And my Forest, obviously, for a green. For Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief. Dun da da da. Dun da da da. I'm not countering it. Yeah, that's cool with me. Yeah. Okay. Sharing our friends. Then I'm going to go ahead and tap my City of Brass for blue. It's going to deal one damage to me. And I'm going to play Combat Research targeting Skullwinder. Oh boy, let's start the party. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's an enchantment aura, um, enchant creature. Enchanted creature has whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. As long as Enchanted Creature is legendary, it gets plus one, plus one, and has ward one. All right, so that makes a copy. Yes. Targeting here. Targeting Ivy, correct. All right. Let, let's start the party. So this one's trying to resolve first. Oh, this is about to get so This is about, dumb. oh, this is gonna get fun. Whoa. I am going to pay a blue and try to change the, co the target of the, of the uh, copy to my spell skite. I'm gonna pay two life um, to change that target to my spell skite. Yep, that resolves. So the copy of the combat research is now on the spell skite. Correct. So this is still trying to resolve. I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna pay <laughs> two life. I'm not tapping the grim monolith because it went untapped, but I'm paying two life to change the target of the combat research to the spell skite. That is so brutal. <laughs> she, play, she played the spell skate. It's true. <laughs> We're in it. Yep. You're gonna, gonna take pay, that back I'm too. I'm gonna pay uh, too. Uh, yeah. uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Watch somebody die to their own spell skate. <laughs> All right. The combat research hits your spell skate. Don't want you to have it. <laughs> I understand. Yes. I understand. It's very wise. We're, we're in it. Okay. Anything else? Oh, you tell me. What else can I redirect? <laughs> Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna... Um, Attack me with a death toucher? Yeah, I kind of want to. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Get him, Shay. Here we go. Swinging at CGB with my skull winder, 1-3 death touch. I'll take the one. Hey, keep in mind, every point of damage you take is one less spell scale, or <laughs> yeah. half a spell scale less. Exactly, yeah. Yep, it adds up. Uh, then I'll pass the turn. Okay. Untap my... Small amount of permanence here. <laughs> liar. He's Draw liar, for right? turn. I'll tap my Welding Jar for blue using Urza's ability and the Mind Stone and cast Lightning Greaves. I'm going to move Lightning Greaves to the Spell Skite. <laughs> Seems like a pretty important <laughs> card here. What? How does that interact? Oh, wait. Never mm. mind. Yeah, I'm that's moving. a good point. I, yeah. Okay, giving this um, shroud might be a bad idea, yes. so I am going to move it to Urza. In response, Artificer. I'm going to tap one and Swords of Plowshare Urza. <gasps> In response to the equipping of the lightning? Games? Yes. Really? Do, 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 do. Because this way, either your spell skite is gone forever or Urza needs a. Spell skite gone forever? Either you redirect oh, it. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. I think what I'll do instead, honestly, is float. A bunch of mana. One, two, three, four, four mana. And then, uh, yeah, I'll resolve that. So it's gain life equal to 
Toughness or power? Power. 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 I don't know why I always forget that one. But Me I do. too. Mm -hmm. All right. So you have four blue mana floating. Yep, and I go to 38. I will attempt to equip Lightning Greaves to my Karnstruct. Okay, guys. <laughs> is that okay? That's gonna be yeah, good for fine. me. All right. Yeah. So that that was kind of like, I couldn't redirect it because the Greaves was here. Yeah. I couldn't uh, redirect the swords. All right, so I've got four in the mana pool. I'll pay a total of six. I'll recast from the command zone. Urza, mm -hmm. wait, what are you doing? Blake, stop moving your lands. <laughs> mana drain. Oh. What you got, nerd? Whoa. <laughs> you guys, did you guys collab on this? We didn't, no. Wow. <laughs> we didn't meet through, up before our, the game. Through our minds, I met we with did. somebody before the game. Can you give the kids at home like a bro fist or something like oh, that? Oh, yeah. There you go. Mm. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Does it make it better? Thank you. <laughs> okay, that went way too far. All right. Um, I'm just going to try to move on from what's happened this turn. I'm in shambles. <laughs> and I've seen things I wish I'd never seen. Blake, your turn. All right. I will gain four colorless mana. I don't like that. <laughs> I really don't like I'm gonna that. I'm going to spend eight mana, including two, to cast a divine intervention! Can you read that one? <laughs> yeah! It enters the battlefield with two intervention counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an intervention counter from Divine Intervention. If there are no interventions counters on it, the game is a draw. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove it? Yep. Is that an enchantment? It sure is. Okay. You leave it alone. <laughs> I don't want to draw. I hate draws. I, like any I like, rational person, yes. hates I draws. I loathe yeah. draws. Well, I love draws. So. You're a weirdo. <laughs> People who embrace draws, they're more losers than losers. Yes! <laughs> yes! Kiss the fist. <laughs> no. Um, no, I'll never join that you. That is well said, CGB. <laughs> Go ahead, Ben. Okay, at your Peter. end step, I'm gonna tap Captain Sissé. Oh, and search for a legendary. Mm -hmm. Card, not even creature, just mm -hmm. card. Okay, I got Chromatic Orrery. Ooh, Going to my card. hand, untapping. I will tap seven to play Chromatic Orrery. Ooh, who would have guessed? I am going to tap the Orrery to play Joda. Dun, 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 dun. The Unifier. Does that trigger Tulane? Yeah. Yes. I will draw a card and I may put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield. Yeah, is Justice Reliquary Tower. And I two at you, Blake. Yes! Ah, yeah. wow. Draw haters mm -hmm. unite. Mm. James, this is for you, buddy. I will pass. Okay, CGB. We're in a, a, a bit of an awkward position here with our spell skite off. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a, bit of a fun one. It's time kind of big enough for the both of them. <laughs> I would like to cast a spell that works pretty well with my commander, but I'm afraid you're going to do the spell skite thing, and then we're just going to go back and forth. So I'm wondering about a compromise this turn. A deal. A deal. If I don't swing at you with everything... <laughs> everything. <laughs> Not the most amazing compromise. If I swing at you with half my stuff. Half my stuff. Three power. You're asking, will mm -hmm. I let... Uh, like your auras or or your spells or get whatever. attached to your things instead of my spell skite. Yeah. And in exchange, you will not hit me with everything. Yeah, let me rephrase this for you. <laughs> Can she do a really, 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 really powerful game action and you take only like four damage instead of 10? <laughs> when well, you're at 38. Let me, okay. Not a great deal. So, as much as I appreciate his rephrasing in, this, in our deal, yeah. let me put it this way. If you hit the draw master over here harder than you hit me, you have a deal. Just gotta hit him harder How than you How was that hit a me. thought? She really wants to kill you. She yeah. likes to think. She does. Well, I it's hate just, it. you know. Mm. We'll tap three for an ancestral mask. Um, what does that do? So, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two for each other enchantment in play. Um. Yeah, okay, what does it target? Well, I think I'm gonna target my spell skite. Really? Yeah. 
Are you sure you don't want to maybe just hit the guy trying to create the draw? Because if you do that... I'm very confused why this is like a hang up. Yeah, just if you... attack? Frickin' heck, I want it to resolve, so I will attack Blake. That's more, a deal? More than I attack you. It just want, Yep, it just has to be for more than you attack me for one turn. That's all we're saying. Okay. All right. And you targeted the spell skate with it? Yeah, I kind of want to take advantage of the combat research. That makes sense. Okay, I am down with it. I hate draws that much. <laughs> for me, I am passing priority on this. Yeah, that's fine. I will pass priority. Whoa, okay, okay. So I've got my mask on my commander, also on spell skite. All right, their ancestral mask is like weird old school. It counts all the enchantments in play, not just the ones you control. And it, it includes the copies that are being made by Ivy. So copy artifact, according to Oracle text, is an enchantment still. And Blake has the draw machine. So that's two. And then what do you have? So I have these two, and then the mask and the copy of the mask. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. Yep. Wow. Six plus two plus two on each of them. So <laughs> that's plus 12 plus 12 on each. Yeah. Okay, so the commander's swinging for 14. Yeah. And the spell skite can swing for 12. Let's see who gets the attack. That's quick. I'm, I'm, I'm already having regrets. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat. I'm gonna send Ivy to Blake, Spellskite to CGB. And it's a 12, 16 Spellskite? <laughs> it's the 14, 13? <laughs> yeah. That's the biggest zero power <laughs> creature I've ever I seen. I got no I blocks. Think. That's what you can get for trying to draw the game, man. I got no oh, blocks. Man. Um, oh, I'm, I'm tempted to put this under the bus. <laughs> I'm going to activate, before blocks, I'm gonna activate Sensei's Divining Top and get some info. And I am not blocking. So I'm taking it. Okay. So I'll, take I'll choose not to block either. Okay, so combat damage. Mm -hmm. You get to draw some cards. I sure do. I get, think I get to draw two cards. Yep. yep. Beautiful. Hackers, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. All right. Okay. A, a, a casual eight mana Urza coming through. New construct. Nice. They buff each other, kind of like the Ancestral Masks. Mm. So they're both eight. But not as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That Hers man. is doing better than mine. Good, thank you for pointing that out, Ben. Oh, great. Yeah. Appreciate that, okay. Uh, I will tap Sensei's Divine Top, Welding Jar, and Spell Skite using Urza's ability. I'm going to use one mana to cast a Shadow Spear, and then I'm going to use two mana to equip it to the construct. Um. So this is plus one, plus one, and lifelink. To the, ooh, to the summoning cyclone. The now unsummoning cyclone, well, I'm gonna target, there. I'm gonna target it with lightning greaves. You found the line. I had to do it in that order because yeah, yeah. equipping to the shrouded creature is not good. I now have to choose what I despise more. Hey, Lots man. of auras and an insane board state going on over there. Or, or a, a draw. draw. <laughs> <laughs> You do whatever makes your heart happy, buddy. The fundamental question is, do I think I can win this game? If I can win this game and also attack you, I should, because, you know, winning, it's a cool thing that we're here to do. Fine. <laughs> Some of us are here to do. It's in our time. And uh, so it, it's weird, because I think I should do something about this. This is all terrifying. Yeah, because you're going to lose to nah, it. Don't worry about it. I, <laughs> there is a good chance I lose to it. But if I even think there's a chance I can win, it's my responsibility to prevent the draw. And that goes for them You're too. just talking yourself into murdering me. Just murder me if that's what you want to do. Okay. okay. Hit me for 16. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I, I have to leave one back. Oh, well you're weird. So I, <laughs> I'll attack you for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is what they're up to now. And I'll attack you for 10. Oh wait, did I count the plus one, plus one from the spear? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, eleven. I attack you for eleven because of the plus one, plus one from the shaft sphere, and gain eleven. Yep, yeah. I got you for it. Thank you. Of course, buddy. All right, peace in your time. Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep phase. Oh. No. Mm. One. I'm going to draw a ten. I'm gonna go one, two, three, 
two, three. I'm going to play Pramicon. Uh huh. Everyone may only attack the player to their direct right. Ben, you get to attack me, buddy. Oh my god, but look what he's <gasps> yeah, going to do! What? what are you? Oh, wait. Oh, you've got all those. Do you have any idea how <laughs> yeah, big those wow. are? That's an oh, eight. eight. I forgot. Right Hold on. <laughs> I was like. You want to change your mind? Um, would, you, would you like to? Would I you guess prefer? I kind of want. Can we choose Kitty Corner? No. <laughs> you know what? I, mean, no, I guess I just want you to that. attack me. Yeah, I guess everyone attacks their left. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Well, I forgot gonna... how. So does this buff creatures? Yeah, it buffs all legends. Oh, stay away from me, you yeah, nerd. Yeah, that's a five-five. <laughs> oh that's God. a uh, five-seven. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> and that's an eight-eight. And he's about to go tutor for. Something. Yeah. yeah, you have to attack to the left. <laughs> Get out of here. Good, so, you chose me. I did. I Thank you. Of course. Pass the turn. At your end step, I'm going to tap Captain Sisse. Who would have guessed? And search oh, for a legendary guessed. character. I would have guessed. Okay, I will reveal Maelstrom Wanderer. Oh, man. The worst possible. Yeah. I'm going to tap you five can't. with no, the I Bloom can't. Tender, because that can do that. <laughs> I'm going to tap one, two, three more for eight total mana. Maelstrom Wanderer on the stack. So oh do my. you want, how do you want to stack your triggers here? Do I get to decide get... before it gets countered? Yep. Because well, it's on cast. It's on That's cast. That's right. So do oh you man. want to do your legendary specific cascade or your non-legendary specific? I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do, do the non-legendary first. first. Okay, yeah. we'll allow it. So, well, I mean, it can hit legendaries. It's just not right. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah, for the people at home. Yeah, it resolves Do over it. here. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. Cascading for less than eight. Soul of Windgrave. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's yeah. fine. Does anyone have a land in a graveyard, though? I don't think so. No. Nope. Nope. I have no graveyard. That's Me what kind neither. of game we're having. Yeah. yeah. And All I right, don't shuffle, one. right? With that. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Another uh, stained body glass. primeval oh warden. Reach if a creature an opponent controls would die. Exile it instead. When you do, create a sapperling token. Sack a sapperling, give her a plus two, plus two, or sack two and draw a card. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice. Not bad. And now you have a legendary only cascade. And now you're going to yes. hit a bunch of non legendaries. <laughs> yeah. But this is still less than eight. Nope. That's a sorcery. That's a fell war stone. That's a land. That's a swift foot boot. There we go. What's Masiri that? Breaker of. Oh, I wanted to get this one out. <laughs> Your opponents can't cast spells during combat, which is weird. But hmm. whenever a creature you control deals combat to a combat damage to a player, goad each creature that player controls. Goad's not great with Pramicon. It doesn't really do anything. But oh yeah, that's true. Well, it forces <laughs> an attack. It does actually. force the yeah. attack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's true. All right. Ta-da. Assuming this resolves as well, there's right. four challenge triggers. I was just triggers. putting the cascades <laughs> on the bottom. That's all. Yeah, I'm not countering the Maelstrom Wanderer, so you're going to get four Chulane triggers. Four draws, nice. And possibly land. Technically, Chulane would have resolved between each uh, cascade trigger, but we're just going to do it now. So you're going to draw four cards, and you can put four lands on the battlefield, basically. Okay. Yep. Uh, after each draw yep. comes your opportunity to put down a, no land. a land. Okay. No land. Okay. Land. <laughs> Evolving wild. Okay. Of course. Land. Or draw, not land. Okay. okay. <laughs> cool. The only land you hit was a untapped one. Real players don't need land, guys. So Maelstrom Wanderer says creatures you control have haste. Yes. You still have seven more mana to spend here, buddy. Uh, eight. This taps for five there, buddy. Yeah. I have three. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Well, the house counts as the land sure doesn't. Oh, yeah. Well, now it does. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. Ah. Oh, my God. Actually, that's not how that works. No, that's not how that works. Oh, it's. Yeah, all right. <laughs> You're the best, buddy. I mean, Ashai is still huge. Oh, right. Well, absolutely it's massive. Just mm -hmm. struck. Absolutely massive. I don't even uh -huh. know how to add this up. I'm just going to wait till you've cast yeah, all the things okay. you're going to cast. Uh, that is casting a creature, so I do draw and then. Yep. I am going to tap two and play a Lightning Greaves. Okay. I will equip that to Joda. I, I don't have any responses mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. particular Shorter. effect. Mm -hmm. Word. Yeah. Sacrifice of all the wilds. Search. 
Oh yeah, I got a mountain for my Evolving Wilds, put that on tap. Hey Ben. What's up? <laughs> um, so I'm checking out your board over yeah. there. Isn't that beautiful? It is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful and terrifying. Yeah. And you could totally kill me this turn, but hear me out. If you don't do that, I could swing all out at CGB and try to take him out. She doesn't have a choice. But to then swing Blake would CGB. win. Keep in mind, I could not. I could swing less. Then Blake would draw. And leave myself blockers. Oh, Blake God. would, I would win. draw. I he wouldn't want. win. I would emotionally win. He would draw. We all would all at draw. Home, drawing right? is an emotional yes. win. We, no one would lose and no one would win. Is that what you're saying? That's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't like that. Well, then all. attack me. Oh, wait. You can't. <laughs> well, that's why. That's why. I that's mean, fine. We can all make deals for Shay so she wins. That's fine. Shay, that's I'm fine. sorry. That's fine. That's uh, fine. <laughs> I don't think Ben's gonna deal. I know. With ben. every with every uh, win, there must be sacrifices. I'm sorry, <laughs> Shay. You are that sacrifice. <laughs> oh, no. Get him, Ben. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Let's see. Right. One thing I forgot. I actually paid a life for Shivan Reef. I do want to not forget to lose that life before. Okay. I'm at twelve. Sorry, Shay. But you're gonna have to die. <laughs> Or I could not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna so swing with all of mm -hmm. these dudes. Mm -hmm. you know. So my commander and Sisse are not swinging, and also Ashaya is not swinging. Mm -hmm. huh. But the two lane is is swinging vigilance, right? Yes, he okay. is vigilance. He is swinging. All right, can um, she survive then? Each of them are getting plus eight, plus eight. Yes. So that's Super. 10, uh, so that's 25. The, that's the largest, so you buy I that. do return something from my graveyard. Evolving yeah. Wilds? Evolving Wilds, boom. Yeah. Which buffs the Shias slightly. So that's the largest. Each of them get plus eight, then there's so still four 15. more attackers. Eight times. 38. Yeah, that, that's more than your life uh, 51, total. 62 damage. That's it? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, it's really not that much. Shay, I, <laughs> I, I hate being this way mm. when this is going so poorly for you, but mm -hmm. how does it feel to be on <laughs> this side of the <laughs> Shay levels of, of uh, power toughness yeah. attack? Yeah, yeah. No, no kidding. That's yeah. true. That is true. It is, it is very true. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's an experience. Sure is. Doesn't feel the best. <laughs> sure doesn't. But, you know, you gotta respect it. You do? So what are you killing like on it. the way out? Hmm. Yeah. I know I thought about that. You don't have to kill anything. I yeah. know, I thought about that too. It would be a little double Defense. standard after you blew up my Citadel last time. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? I can take it. Yeah. I can handle that. It's fine. No blocks. No blocks, Ben. Oh, thank you. I respect that. <laughs> Boom. Uh, did she kill your bolus of Citadel last game? Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Different circumstances, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here for it. All right. He doesn't get to attack me next turn. Okay. I think I go to negative 3,000. Yep. Thank you for sparing all my uh, beautiful creatures. Yep. Yep. You're welcome. That's just respect for the absolute now, all out beating. CGB's in an awkward spot because if he goes to kill me next turn, can he survive the swingies better? I don't have a choice. Well, I'm not taking a draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd rather lose. <laughs> Okay, Blake, I'm not done yet, though. Okay. That's true. I'm gonna, main. I'm gonna tap two because of a Shia. Oh, because it has haste. And guess, guess what? Because I don't have enough, man. I'm gonna play Farseek. <laughs> you sure. got it, dude. Works good. You got it. That's good. <laughs> and uh, while I'm searching for that, I'm gonna just tap Captain Sisse as well. Bold move. Wow. I can't wait to see what you get. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'll allow it. So I got a Xander's Lounge from the Far Seek. That will go on the battlefield tap. And I got Oko Thief of Crowns for the legendary card. Does I get legendary permanence? Legendary card. Card, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's okay. right. Then I'll, then I'll pass. To shit. GB. Yeah. Oh. I'll untap. There's only, it falls to me, man. There's only one person here who can prevent a draw. So I'll draw for turn. I do not untap the Grim Monolith. That nope. was a mistake. I've got an offer for you, Blake. Ooh. If I don't kill you, 
will you use your commander to select, uh, what would it be in this case, right, as the direction that people attack? So this is implying that my divine intervention's dying? I'm maybe. <laughs> then I make no deal. <laughs> I would not destroy it. Then I make no deal. I just said I wouldn't destroy it. Let me rephrase this for you. Then I make no deal. Peace at any cost, huh? Peace at any cost. The ultimate pacifist. But if that's the way it is, Winter Orb. Players cannot untap more than one land on their untap phases. You're at 12? I'm at 12. All right, these are up to 11 now. Let's move to combat. All right, Blake, I'm attacking you. Two constructs and an Urza. You have a blocker, but should still be lethal damage. I'll pay two. I will flash in a Deep Gnome Terramancer, who might provide a decent blocker. Uh, I will give you one last chance. <laughs> you either die right here, or you, assuming that there is another turn, choose right. <laughs> deal or no deal? I will move to blocks. I've got something before that. <laughs> I am going to channel Moonsnare Prototype, and I'm going to put the Deep Known Terramancer on top of your library. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yes, and I would have just done it to the Divine Intervention and let you have another chance, but you chose, you chose this life. Then I will block Urza. Okay. Good game. I will gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve. Twelve, yep. Yep. And uh, smash you to many less. This is a lesson for everyone at home. Stick to your guns. Sometimes you <laughs> die, but that's okay. Well, I might also die now. James, that was for you, buddy. I could very well also be dead in this spot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> By a lot. <laughs> Um, well, you know what, CGP? What? There will be a winner. There will be a winner. <laughs> that is true. And that's more important. Yes. I'm going to equip Shadow Spear to the Spell Skite. <laughs> and I'm going to move Lightning Greaves to the Spell Skite. Uh, go ahead, Ben. I will untap one land, right? Yep, just one. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, wait. This is currently tapped. It's currently tapped. <laughs> you oh, I untap all my land? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was supposed to... Dude, the, <laughs> the world should know my shame. I can't play well against Ben. He's too likable. He's too <laughs> my cold heart. What does that say about it. Shay and I that you can play well against us? You think I play well against you? That's fair. <laughs> okay, I am going to play a Smoldering Marsh. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh I'm going to tab this and this for six. Arcanus the Omnipotent. That's, Omnipotent. Omnipotent. That's a legendary, <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's a cascade. That's, that's a, a cascade, yes, for mm -hmm. five or less. Oh, it's oh. a clonic rift. That is six, oh. that does not work. Oh. No. I'm not gonna survive the first combat, no, so it's it Heliod Sun Crown. Let's go. Let's get nice. it, dude. Uh, that was on the battlefield these three. Oh, and I draw a card from Tulane. Nice. Before and you can put I forget. Put a land on the battlefield. Put a land. Yeah. I will activate Captain Sisse to search. Yeah, run up the score, man. <laughs> okay, I will reveal God Eternal Rona. Oh, what? What? He's so Wait, dead. what does that do? Um, it's a, it's a death touch. There you go, Shay. Ooh, it's yeah, a five nice. five zombie god. Zombie god. Uh, You're really taking enter, your time. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield. Double the power of each of uh, other creatures you control until end of turn. Those creatures gain vigilance until end of turn. And oh, that's the, huge. They need a, a double? Shuffle three. Need a double? Okay. That yeah. goes into your hand. It goes into my hand, yeah. Can you cast any more legendaries before that? Yeah. Oh, before that one? Because you get five mana from Bloom Tender. We gotta kill CGB as much as we can. <laughs> <laughs> as can as we, we get... work together on this, please? Yeah, yeah I got Okay. I got 13. No, I don't he just wants help. to be a part well, of it. I just want to be a part of it. <laughs> I just want to hang out with my friend. Yeah. I'm going to tap three, since I can cast spells for any color. Oko Thief of Crown. Yes, of course. Would you and like to elk my uh, commander? Yes. 
That would be lovely, in fact. Great. To elk and Urza. Urza is elked. Take that, um, Craig. That's a plus one. Oh, would you? Craig! <laughs> is the number dice? Craig's Urza is elked. It's fine. I wish I, there was a good elk noise. <laughs> you've never been elk. Wow, you've literally never been elk like elk calling, have you? No, I just didn't find any. Maybe my elk call wasn't very good. So it's like a northern Michigan thing. You go like elk bugling and stuff, you know? Can you give me an elk sound? Ooh. Whoa, that was... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Is there what? an elk in here? Nice. nice. <laughs> Not nice. everybody knows this? <laughs> I don't know this. Specifically no. a bull elk. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. What is Oko doing? <laughs> Oh my god. Um, oh my I'm gonna god. tap the Bloom Thunder to play God Eternal Ronas. Still need another is that really how I think it adds one mana. No. Each but it can be any color. As oh, I cast you're right, it. you're right, because yeah. of Chromatic Order. Right. Yeah, you're right. Alright. So we're gonna double everyone's power. Of course. All my creatures. Okay. So how many legendaries do you have when you have Yeah, the let's control? do some math, guys. Okay, so we added all those attackers up. Okay, CGB, I'm swinging all out at you. About like 300 <laughs> <laughs> damage. Got any your blocks, face. buddy? Yeah, you got one blocker. I've got an effect. You think oh. that's enough life to help you? Um, life gain, I mean. I, I want you to know I'm using Shadow Spear to make all of your permanents lose hexproof and oh, oh, man. You might kill my enchantment Heliod now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take it. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go, Ben! Yeah, Ben! <laughs> Still <laughs> better than a draw. Shake, yes, it is. Thank you. Bunkers. And that's a loser saying that, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rather a bloody loss than a draw. Yes. Let's go find our card of the game. All right, it is time for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. This is where we go around and we talk about you know, a card that we really think did the most work this game. For me, my card of the game is Mana Drain because it gave me just the perfect amount of mana to be able to play my Divine Intervention very early, become a massive problem. But realistically, the truest card of the game is a draw with my friends where we win the game peacefully, but my friends hate me. So they didn't let that happen. <laughs> no draws. No, no draws. Death before draws. Yeah. Yes. And you trading, Always. Mother Trucker? What's your card of the game? <laughs> <laughs> well, I really re like the recommendation, Keto. That was a great mm -hmm. commander. Love its ability. Uh, it's just, it's just beautiful. My commander is obviously my card of the game. Fair. Of the unifier. Some, that must have done like a hundred something damage yeah. to this game. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of. More. For <laughs> some crazy. reason, I took three hundred some alone. Yeah. yeah, and Shay took like eighty some the turn oh, before that. Poor Shay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, you're, you're the only person who didn't get hit by the thing, so Thanks, you, I think you yeah, should be allowed go. to talk about it. Only That's those true. who have experienced this trauma <laughs> That's fair. should I'm get so to sorry. discuss it. And, oh. you know, it's really, really weird um, I hear there's a support group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we see meet on, um, on Wednesdays. Okay. Um, I'll see you at, before this. I'll see you at Joda, <laughs> Joda Ben support group, yeah. where <laughs> the victims go to reconcile what's happened to them. Yeah. My name is CGB, yeah. and I took 300 damage from Joda. Hi, CGB. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Shay, what was your card of the game? Yeah, my card of the game was Ancestral Mask. It really did a lot for me, more than I originally thought. I didn't realize it was for each enchantment on the board, and yeah. that buffed my stuff a lot. Well, it 100% put me in lethal range for him to kill me, so mm -hmm. it was huge. Yeah. That was awesome. CGB, what about your card of the game? So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna give a kind of honorary mention to Copy Artifact, because Copy Artifact on the spell skite made things super awkward for our Ivy Gleeful Spell mm. Thief player. Yeah. Um, that was pretty fun, and it could have gotten into a really nasty bidding war of just each of us losing a lot of life yep. if there weren't the threat of a draw on the table, so we had to work together. Mm -hmm. um, my actual card of the game, because it prevented the draw, Boo! <laughs> Moon Snare Prototype. <laughs> the ability to channel it. I, I, I got a feeling that two open mana over there, you had a counterspell, didn't you? 
Did yes! It? Channel. Yeah, Channel gets around that. Oh, <laughs> does it, man? <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. Thank you. Know. Let me write that one down. <laughs> oh, don't forget to use the promo code WORST on uh, your beautiful moon snare prototypes and other singles you may need to defeat your local blue mage. Would you like to handle the rest of the throw? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you stayed to the end, we really appreciate it. From all of us here at the Worst Possible Commander Show, you are cool.